Hi, I'm Jacob and I'm going to talk to you today about the new Nirvana. It's the only consumer-based vagal nerve stimulator here in America. So I'm going to talk to you about some of the benefits about vagus nerve stimulation and some of the uh, proven benefits of this device here, the Nirvana. And then I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use it. So the vagus nerve is the connection between your sympathetic and parasympathetic system. And it's been shown that when you stimulate it, you can do things like fall asleep better, you can you feel better, you feel more relaxed, you have calmer energy, better focus. Um, and some of the proven benefits about this device specifically is it helps with DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness, which you get after working out and intense exercise. And this can help with the recovery of that, help lessen the symptoms. It can also help reduce blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure, it can help that bring it back to normal. And I'd be a little bit weary about if you have low blood pressure, but we're still doing studies on that. And if you want to increase your heart rate variability, this device has been proven to increase your heart rate variability without having to do intense exercise and marathons and things like that. Isn't that pretty fascinating? I think that's really cool. So that's this device. And I want to share with you a quick tutorial on how to use it. So to turn it on, you're going to hold down the power button right here for five seconds until the blue light here, the blue screen turns on. Now that we have the blue screen turning on, it will show us two different ways to use it. One is audio mode and one is formula mode. And so we're going to choose formula mode. Audio mode is if you're using a iPod, which you can use this auxiliary cord or iPhone or Android. And you can plug it in here and you can hear it through the headphones. So let's set up the headphones and we'll come back to the Nirvana. So here are the headphones. You have two different ports. One is just plain for audio, which is the right ear. And the left ear is for vagus nerve stimulation. So we're going to be stimulating the vagus nerve through the left ear because there are some downsides to stimulating it on the right side. And they've shown that you can get cardiac arrest. And I don't think that's something we want, right? So let's do the left ear like it's intended. And so that's the blue, blue cord, blue side. It has a little L. The right side has a little R. So we're going to do the left. And we're going to prep the ear first. So what we're going to use is some alcohol right here. I've got some alcohol. And I've got a towel. And put some alcohol on the towel like this. Get some on there. And clean that spot of the ear that I'm going to use. This is the same thing like acupuncture where they clean the points where they're going to put the needles. This is to help with the current. So now that we have the ear cleaned, we are going to use this, which comes provided. It's a saline spray. As you can see, if you pop it out, you can fill it up with water. I, I filled it up a little bit. And so we're going to use the saline spray to help with transduction. So we're going to spray the left ear, the blue one, uh, once on each side of the left ear. So once like this and once like this. And now that we've got that, we can stick that in our left ear. And the right ear, if you're listening to music, you can put it in your ear. I don't, I'm not listening to music right now, so I'm going to throw it over my ear. It also comes with a clip that you can use that you can clip onto your uh, shirt, but I'm not going to use that for now. And so let's get back to the Nirvana. So we're going to plug it in. There's two different ports, part of the headphones. One is for the audio and the other one is for the electrical current. And you can see on the Nirvana, one side is one port is bigger than the other on the side. So we're going to make that line up and plug it in. So it fits just like this. Nice and simple, right? So back to here, hold it for five seconds to turn it on. We're going to go into formula mode instead of audio mode. And let me just give you a quick tutorial on audio mode. If you do use audio mode, you use this as the volume. This is the volume, this uh, here. And it uses the intensity of your music. So the loudness, let's say you have a kick with a large boom that would increase the intensity of the electricity that goes into your ear. So we're going to do that and we're going to go, we're going to click the down button to go to formula mode and click enter right here. So we go down to formula, click enter, and then it asks us our duration. So we've noticed that 
a minimum duration to fill anything has been around 20 minutes. This goes from 15 minutes to 45 minutes. So let's start off for 20 minutes right now just to see how we feel. And we're gonna go, uh, click the up arrow to increase the duration and then enter. And now it's asking our intensity. Personally, I don't feel the electrical stimulation until around 14 or 15. So I'm gonna move it up all the way to 15, but you can start lower if you, if you believe that you will. You will feel uh, with that intensity. So I'm gonna click enter now. And then you've got two modes. One, uh, you got mode A and mode B. Personally, mode A works better for me, but mode B might work for you. They're just different waveforms of the current. So I'm gonna click enter on mode A. And then it says session begins in three, two, one, as you can see here. And so we've got the current going through the ear. Now, as you can see on the bottom here, there's arrows. These arrows indicate the amount of amplitude of the uh, waveform. And it starts off smaller on the left. And as it goes, as the arrows goes to the right, it gets more intense. And so the electrical current comes in waves. So it's smaller to more intense and then back to smaller. And so what you want to do to find the proper intensity is to wait for the arrows to go all the way to the right to get to the mo most intense before you adjust by going up, clicking the up arrow or down, clicking the down arrow. So I would adjust it until you feel something in your ear. And if your ear becomes um, normalized with that sensation and you want to move it up a little bit more, you can always click the up arrow. And if it's too painful or you have any side effects, you can always bring it down. So at the end of your session, the Nirvana will turn off by itself. And so this is a great for using applications like when you have anxiety and stress or you want to use it right before bed or if you want to use it for focus. And the great part using it before bed actually is that it turns off itself and you don't have to worry about it at all. That's pretty fantastic. So if you want to learn more about this product, head over to experiencenirvana.com. Thanks guys. I'm Jacob Gordon and I hope you enjoyed this video.